We flew to Spain via Air France, Toronto to Paris, and then it was Paris to Malaga, Spain. And once we got into Malaga, we picked up a rent-a-car and made our way towards Ronda, Spain, which is more up towards the mountains. It's about two hours away. Saw this castle along the way and decided to put the drone up in the air and just have a look around. It wouldn't be the last castle that we were going to see in Spain. On the uh, the south side of the town of Ronda right now, which is the old Moor section of uh, the city, there's a bridge that goes over a gorge that takes you into the newer area. But we're on the south side, so we're gonna have lunch here at a cafe somewhere, take a look around. Oh, that looks so good! What a nice little restaurant! And this is where they put it in the rack, and they just slice the prosciutto off nice and thin right there. Look at these wine connoisseurs swirling their wine around. Actually, it's hard to find a bad wine in Spain. This is one that we really quite liked. It's called Pago El Espino, a wine from the Ronda area. And this is how you slice the prosciutto, nice and thin, right off the leg. And if you run out, you have more up there. Welcome to the Catalonia Arena in Ronda, Spain. We are here. It is a resort with a spa in the Newtown area, and we have just arrived. Here we are. We'll pay for that separate. Okay. And then the other one will be Sedecos. Well, good morning. Welcome to Ronda, Spain, and another Yukon Bot video. I am traveling for 10 days through the Andalusia region of southern Spain, landed in Malaga via Paris, via Toronto, and uh, got 10 days to explore around the Andalusia region of uh, southern Spain. We're going to be uh, in Ronda for three or four days, and then from there we're up to Sevilla, Seville, as we call it in the west. We're going to look around there for two or three days, but this is the view from Ronda, from the hotel, from the Hotel Catalonia uh, Victoria Arena, or Arena Victoria, I think it is. This is the gorgeous view of the uh, the canyon down below me, and the, the vista you get from here. So stick with us. We're going to show you some uh, areas of Spain over the next uh, 10 days. I'm traveling with my neighbors on this trip and my wife, Lois, and my neighbors, uh, David and Lisa. So we're going to explore some of the areas around southern Spain. Come along with us. This hotel, the Catalonia Arena Victoria in Ronda, was built back in 1906. It's a Victorian-style uh, building. It's really kind of neat inside. You've got all these sort of uh, hallways and... Uh, rooms off to one side or the other. It's got a spa that's attached to it. Uh, there's also a bit of a gym sort of attached as well. But the best part, I think, of this hotel uh, is the just the location of it. Way back in 1906, they would have had their choice of where to build this hotel, and they certainly picked a good spot. It has some amazing views of the valley below and also the mountain over on the other side of it. This fence is here with good reason. If you look over the edge, It's about 300 feet to the bottom, long way down. Here's the hotel I was originally looking at in Ronda to, to stay at. It's right off the main plaza. I'm glad we stayed where we did, which is a little bit further up the road and a little quieter area. 
with well, a fantastic view, but this is the sort of separation between the old town and the new town, and that separation happens right at this bridge up here. There's a bridge across the gorge, and that is uh, the division between old town and newer town. Now, both of these look like very old towns, but across over that way is the really old area. Let me show you the gorge. What do you think, Dave? Beautiful. Is the view better here or at our place? <laughs> It's similar. That's a loaded question. I, I think our place is really neat because the mountains are, seem to be a bit closer. But uh -huh. post picked up. It's nice. It's not either or. There's some fantastic views here in Rwanda from some of the hotels. Just looking out over the gorges and the valley. Gelato. We stopped at this little shop and had a sandwich and some craft beer. Look at these sandwiches here in the window. Aren't they lovely? About six bucks a piece, something like that. Oh, there's one some with some cheese. I missed that one. Look at these ones. The, bre the bread is just great. So we were just saying that this is probably a pretty good time to be visiting uh, Spain because it's the beginning of April and it's still fairly crowded, you know, with tourists, but you can imagine what it would be like in the middle of the summer. And the temperatures are the other thing. They're really nice right now. Probably about 17, 18, 19 degrees in sun. But in the summertime, it'd be very hot here. So early April, not a bad time to be visiting uh, this area of the Andalusia region of Spain. One of the side trips out of Ronda that we did was to Marabella on the coast, although for a couple of days, we were calling it Marabella until we got the correct pronunciation. Will this spot do, ladies? I think it will do for might measure up. Fine. Are we tired of the driving around looking for a parking spot in Marbella? <laughs> We've been driving looking for a parking spot for half an hour. There is nothing in Marbella. Let's go to the roundabout. Let's, yeah, let's, let's do go another round. round again. Let's go around again. <laughs> and keep going round and round. Anyway, we went a little bit out of Marbella to get out of the way so we could find a parking spot. We found one now, and we're just going to have a beer here and just stick around. Dave, would you find a beer? Would I like yeah, a beer? I, did you find one? Oh, no, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's okay. You can have, okay. You can I can have a beer and a coffee. Would you like a seat bomb? I like a beer and a coffee and a cigar. <laughs> that, they don't have that other They don't have those, okay. This is just a little bit up the road from uh, Marabella. It's sort of part of Marabella, but a little bit on the outskirts because you cannot find parking anywhere in that town. It's just nuts. So uh, we're on the beach, which is sort of what we wanted, I guess. And we'll stop here and have a drink. Just to the west of Rhonda, there are some beautiful roads through the mountain countryside, through towns like Grazalima and Zahara. Put the drone in the air and we'll just let the pictures speak for themselves. So here's a better shot of the little alleyway that we had to get through in the car yesterday. Cars are driving up and down here all the time. Not up and down, it's all one way of course, but it's commonplace here. But for us, this seemed extremely narrow coming down here. Not like it was a road at all, but it totally is. But look here on the side of the wall where some people have not quite made the corner and have smashed into it. And then you come out into this street right here, and all of a sudden the hotel was right there 
but where do you now park to get your suitcases out? So we pulled over right over there and cut, dropped the suitcases on the street. And then the guy from the hotel came and he took the key to the car and I said, here, we're done. And he went and parked it somewhere. And we won't be seeing the car until we leave Sevilla. <laughs> to taste our wines, our tapas, to experience our magnificent weather. Oh well. The, my idea, my task here is create a bright memory for you and your whole life. The walking tour begins. Can I see your Star Trek communicator, please? I can't, I can't there hear it you. Is. Can I see your Star Trek? There we go. And Lois? Yes, I'm all... We are all wired up for the Alcazar tour. We've been looking at these horse and carriages ever since we got to Sevilla, so we decided to splurge and try one. We negotiated down five entire euros. So we're at 40 euros for about 35 minutes. And uh, he's just gonna take us around the city. Just kind of wanted to do this touristy thing. Yeah, the Royal Wave. The Royal Wave. Hola, hola. Everybody wave as we go by the fountain. Good morning on the road again on our trip through the Andalusia region of Spain. Today we're heading from uh, Sevilla and we are heading towards Antequera. Antequera is about uh, hour 50, hours, two hours roughly drive from Sevilla. Roads are beautiful. Antequera is a very ancient town. Apparently it goes out way back before BC, 3400 BC, one of the oldest towns in Spain. That's our destination today. The drive has been beautiful. Look at these roads in Spain. Two lanes all the way. Not sure you can make it out, but up on the hill there, that's the original castle from uh, Antequera. A wall all around it. Probably pretty old. I don't know how old, but that's it up on the hill. It's always a real problem trying to find uh, parking in any of these Spanish towns, and it doesn't seem to matter if they're a big town or a small town, parking's always an issue. You can drive around and around and around 
looking for spots and there's just nothing. You've really got to find a parking garage or something like that because I think people here just park in the morning and these spots are full all day long. Okay, so we're just having lunch at a little restaurant in Antiquera. I ordered some seafood soup. Lisa, what did you have? I ordered the house special salad. It's um, walnuts, pretty good. fruit, tomatoes, cheese, honey. And worst. Dave had the same thing, the walnut soup. Wow. And Lois had a cup of black coffee. <laughs> and one dessert. Mm -hmm. I know what's important. These two guys are trying to get a word in edgewise and it's not possible. Welcome to the Hotel de la Magdalena. Apparently this used to be a, a convent at one time. It's now been converted into a hotel just outside the town of Antiquera. Beautiful little spot nestled up on a hillside. We'll get some drone video of this as well. But uh, this is just to look around the courtyard. It's about five kilometers, seven kilometers, I think, outside of Antiquera. This is a little courtyard right inside the hotel lobby. Beautiful. Wow, 10 days has come and gone so fast. Our trip to Spain and the Andalusia region of uh, the southern part of Spain has come to an end. Uh, it's been 10 days of traveling around the southern part of the country, visiting some really neat places. We've stayed at some really nice uh, and interesting sort of hotels, castles, convents, things like that. This is Malaga again. This is the final stop on our trip before we head back to Toronto tomorrow morning. Uh, we've avoided uh, some of the bad weather. It's been raining a little bit around us. We had a little bit of rain, but overall, not too bad. Thanks for joining us on another Yukon Bob video, and we'll see you on the next one as we say goodbye this time from Malaga, Spain.